Hi guys, welcome back to Fairy's Tutorials. In today's episode, we're looking at the contribution of tourism to the Caribbean. Tourism Unit 1, Content 3, Global and Caribbean Tourism. And in today's episode, we're looking at contribution of tourism to the Caribbean. We'll be focusing on the economic benefits such as job creation, development of infrastructure, commerce, and ecological benefits. Now let's kick things off with looking at economic benefits, more so the creation of jobs. Now with the improvement in commercial activity comes the creation of more jobs. Thousands of Caribbean citizens work directly or indirectly in tourism. Direct workers refers to any worker that work, as the name suggests, directly or closely with tourists, right? So it may be from the room attendants, it may be the check-in clerks, all of those persons that have that face-to-face -face or personal interaction with tourists, those are direct workers. So persons who are working destinations, certain destinations um, in the different sectors, right? There's also indirect, and those now would be examples like the farmers, right? Now the farmers would produce the product or the food and then may sell it to restaurants or to hotels for them to prepare for meals for the tourists right no they are indirectly em employed because of tourism as well no in fact tourism employs the second largest number of jamaicans for example 200 thousands thousands both directly in hotels transport attractions and craft as well as indirectly such as trading, manufacturing, and banking, especially mainly in and around these resort areas. Good. Now, let us look at the benefit to local economies. Besides the economic benefits at the level of the national GDP, which stands for what? Gross domestic product. Tourism can positively impact local economies and also small business owners. Considering the relative poverty in the Caribbean countries in comparison with the United States and developed home nations of most tourists, the UK Travel Foundation founded the Pro Poor Tourism Partnership. Now, what is this partnership? The partnership analyzes and recommends the best practices within the local tourism industry for maximum local economic benefits. Good practices include using local producers in supply chain. So we speak about the multiplier effect, right? From craftspeople to farmers, employing residents and forging partnerships with local tour operators and also excursion providers. Let us now look at how tourism is in development of infrastructure. Now accommodating tourists requires huge investment in infrastructure. Don't you agree? So this is not simply limited to hotels and resorts, but also public facilities and institutions as well. To accommodate cruise megaships, for example, countries invest in expand port facilities while seeking to attract more visitors. So it's not just thinking about the hotels or the motels or the different um, attractions that are there to be developed but also the road also the airport development of cruise ship docks all of those things are very much important as it relates to the infrastructure being developed in the caribbean 
right? Now, there's also commerce. The economic benefit of tourism to the Caribbean is unquestioned. In fact, each year the sector posts the highest levels of foreign exchange receipts. From expensive five-star hotels to orange vendor on the street, the impact of foreign dollars exalts more attractions as national treasures. Not only does tourism raise tax revenues, but it also creates job as well, which we look at earlier, right? The benefits also trickle down to service providers of all kinds, such as restaurants promoting local cuisine and even the farmers who supply with fresh produce. So it regulates the buying and selling of products as it relates to commerce. Good. Now, the final contribution that we're looking at is ecological benefits, right? And as you see those green leaves foots step, you may be able to say what ecological benefit is all about. Now, let us see if what you're thinking is correct. Tourism in the Caribbean is linked with the island's natural resources. As anyone who visited the palm-studded beaches, vibrant reefs, or balmy jungles can attest, as a result, efforts to preserve the local ecosystems are vital to the continued economical benefit of tourism. So we take a little bit more pride into our resources because the resources are the treasure. Those are the things that attract persons from different um, parts of the world to come to destination Caribbean, right? Now, the movement towards sustainable and ecological responsible tourism largely started in the 1990s. And there you have it. We have looked at the contribution of tourism to the Caribbean, where we looked at the ecological benefits, where our resources are maintained or sustained because they are the treasure. They are the focal point of the destination in the Caribbean, we also spoke of economic benefits as it relates to rise in GDP, foreign exchange, job creation, and also very importantly, the development of different infrastructures. So we're speaking of um, sh cruise ships can now access uh, the dock. We're speaking about airports being up to date. We're speaking about the roads and also the maintenance of hotels and other resorts. The benefits of commerce. So the buying and selling of goods and services also create economic benefits for the country and also the citizens of the Caribbean. You've made it to the end of the session. Did you find this video useful? Come on man, hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, and most important of all, share this video with persons who you know will find it useful. Thank you for making it fairs tutorial.